Yo, what's up everybody? This is John coming at you again and we're going to do a short video today on the difference between a trials tire bead and a IRC IX09W enduro tire bead. Now let's get into it. Alright guys, so the reason why we're doing this video today is as you see, I have taken the leap of faith and I have taken my trials tire, which was uh, a tubeless tire, off my solid uh, trials competition wheel. Now, as you can see, this is not like a normal, you uh, as you would say, a motorcycle enduro bike tire. The spokes are turnbuckle style, like I did. Uh, review in the video the turnbuckle style and that leaves the wheel completely solid except for this hole which is where the um, Schrader valve went to fill the tire now my dilemma is I want to put this tire on this is a IRC IX09W Gekota it is a 110 by 100 by 18 and this tire like you see in the other video where I did my enduro mods on the 2020 Escape, this tire rips. Personally, I like it. It's a very, very soft sidewall. It's a two ply, similar to this, same two ply carcass, and it has the aggressive but gummy enduro knobs. Now, I have no complaints about this tire, but right away, we can see the difference between the two. As you can see, when I took this off right away, I noticed something different about this tire and that is the bead. I've always been told, but never verified for myself until just now, how thick a trials tire bead is. If you look at this bead, it looks like almost about a half an inch. And uh, we have a little micrometer here, uh, and we can get a measurement. Now, this is not an accurate measurement, but this is just generally to show you the difference, all right? So now we're looking at this about 11.17 millimeters, right? 11.17 millimeters fairly thick right and uh, this is what i've been told the reason why you can run a tire like this without a tube without a rim lock it, it just you know you pressurize it up and you can actually run at very low pressures and because the bead is so thick it won't fold out even when this tire is compressed all the way even when it's banging on rocks even when it's climbing crazy stuff this bead is so thick it won't break the bead won't lose that pressure Okay, now moving over to our Gekota, right away you can see this bead is not nearly as thick, nowhere near as thick. And if we put our measurement on it, 7.92, about 8 millimeters. Yeah, like I said, this is not an accurate measurement. This is just to show you the difference in numbers. Now this is a little bit over half thickness of the trials tire. And personally, this is what I don't feel comfortable with. I don't feel comfortable putting this on my tubeless wheel, my solid wheel, without the fear of this bead popping out. So that's the main thing. Now, how can I remedy this? From my, my, from my experience and what I've asked people, the only way to remedy this is with this. This is a tubeless system. Now, this is an 18 system. This works on every 18 inch wheel. and on my, even my um, solid wheel here, the bead system is fairly the same. There should be nothing different about this profile um, than any other wheel out there. The only thing is to mount this, I will now have to drill another hole. Oh, where's my hole? Drill another hole. So I have this one hole here. So this one hole will be used for the rim lock slash um low pressure side of the two bliss system and see this one is the inner bladder of course if you haven't used this system this is great um, for running low pressure even running zero pressure at times if you have a flat you can still 
have a 360 degree wheel lock and this tire won't slip. It, this system is awesome. However, you need another hole for this, which is supposed to be set about four inches or what they recommend four spokes away. Now, if you count here, this is one hole, one, two, three, four in this bead here, but there's no hole. So what do I do guys? Should I take a chance, drill this guy out so that I can mount this? Or do I just stay with my good old trials tire? Uh, there's going to be a lot of debate about this. I understand that everybody loves the trials tire. And from what people can do on a trials tire, there's no question. It's an awesome tire. I feel for trials riding, when you're weighting the pegs, um, when you're bouncing on it and you're getting that grip, it feels good in every situation. The only situation when it's really muddy, and like I've always said, in Hawaiian mud, it's very, very slick. I mean, it's hard to get traction even with this, but with the knobby, you know, with the knobby being more aggressive and having a soft and gummy carcass, I think you can get the best of both worlds. This tire didn't exist until, you know, uh, maybe a year or so ago, um, but I feel like you can get the best of both worlds for enduro riding. Yeah, this is for enduro riding, not trials riding, but enduro riding. So you get the soft wall, you can collapse, you can get the gummy knobbies. And if you're not able to weight the bike, like in some situations um, in the trail where you have to, you know, kind of push it over something or um, you have to get off the bike to push it, these threads will grab. Whereas the trials tire works great when the bike is weighted. If the bike is de-weighted, sometimes you have some issues of it just spinning because it's not compressing, it's not conforming. And there's just certain situations where you got to get off and, and roll it over something and over a route. And this tends to slip, whereas this more likely will bite because of the gap. Now, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, please hit me up in the comments about this. Like, I don't know what you guys feel about running. You know, uh, I don't know if it's sacrilege to to uh, drill this wheel. Most trials guys will, you know, be crying right now if I ever do it. But what do you think I should do? Should we go with the enduro or should we stay with the trials? Let me know what you guys think. And if you like it, please subscribe and also shoot me a comment. Hit the like button and uh, we'll get you more content on these awesome electric motion bikes that we have and also show you how this tire works in the real world of riding in the trails. So thanks again, guys. Once again, ride with Aloha and like always, mahalo.